of a family where homeschool is life and having a teachable spirit is our number one goal. You guys, if I'm being honest, I'm so tired. <laughs> I just finished filming the other two curriculum videos and your friend is tired, but I wanna work my way through so I can show you um, what we're using for my second grader. If you follow me for a while, then you know that I basically school my second grader with my fourth grader. They have strengths and weaknesses that lend themselves to one another's learning journey. So it's what works well for us and that's how we do things. But there are a few things that are um, maybe specific to my second grader and uh, different ways that he'll work through the same types of things that my fourth grader works through. Um, the general gist of it is that he's very capable of a lot of the content um, that we're learning, but he may just not have the attention span for completing it like my fourth grader will. So that's how that works. For Kindle, let's start with language arts, my second grader. Um, we're doing the good and the beautiful as a spine, language arts and literature level three, um, and we're doing level four. So um, we're working our way through both of those together. We're also using them in conjunction with IXL for practice. We really love IXL. It's really helpful. It helps me to manage our school day and um, to be able to juggle between all three children. We love it. So we use it for basically each subject, but um, very heavily in math and language arts. So we are using level three, level four, for language arts for my second grade. <laughs> The big fat notebooks, I mentioned this many times, I really enjoy them because they can read them like a book. It's nice for them to be able to be introduced to certain concepts ahead of time before the time where we actually want to dive into it. So I really enjoy having them open them up and read through something that pertains to what we are studying. These are the ones that he is using the most. The science, the English language arts, and the math. Okay, so for math for my second grader, still using IXL for practice, still using Splash Math for lots of practice, and then still working our way through the Brainy Book of Multiplication and Division, and using the Smiling and Shining in the Second Grade daily math warm-ups. He generally completes about four pages um, on our math days. For history, he is still doing the Good and the Beautiful Year One course with us all together. For science, he is using these along with his brother, but not necessarily at the same time. Let me see, this is not it. So he's using the Iggy Peck's Big Project Book for Amazing Architects, Rosie Revere's Big Project Book for Bold Engineers, and Ada Twist Big Project Book for Stellar Scientists. Now, the reason why I showed these separately, I also showed these in my fourth graders um, curriculum video, is because some days they will do pro some days they'll do projects together. They'll be working on the same project together, and then other days they'll be working on separate projects, not necessarily in the same book. So we're just working our way through them as. It is appropriate. And then this dot to dot nature scenes book is my Kindle Bears, my second graders. This is really great for him. It's been really great for his fine motor skills and just really getting him to work out his attention span, um, extending his attention span. Um, and then we then use these to go and uncover some facts and materials on the specific animals and environments in nature. So he's been using this along with his science situation and then lastly for our culinary unit his book is the kid chef junior for ages four plus this is my first kids book this one is by far my favorite i have three of them each of them has a book that they're using for our culinary course and this one's by far my favorite just because of the really cute fun things that they include for the kids it has a lot more pictures in it and it has funny little jokes so he really enjoys this book and he's excited about working his way through it for kindle for 
Bible, he is going to be mainly responsible for our devotions and we are still using the indescribable 100 devotions about God and science. I love this devotional so much. It's so good. I worked, we worked our way through the majority of it in our um, summer camp and in our homeschool already, but I'm going through it again. It's, I feel like that good. And it's always really good to just take your time to unpack um, the scripture, scriptures and the lessons. I just don't feel the need to move on to something new. So I like it and I'm going to stay with it. Um, so Kendall is going to be mainly responsible for making sure we get in our devotions in the morning. It's kind of his job. It's his thing. And so this is what he's responsible for. The next thing, you guys have seen this one already, the story for kids, discover the Bible from beginning to end. Um, he's only gotten through very little of this one so far, so we're just going to continue to work our way. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So we're just going to con we're just going to continue to work our way through this. We've only made our he's only made his way through a few pages, so we just keep going until we get completely through it. And then last, I'll just show you his Bible. So he has other Bibles, but this one is by far his favorite. We really love this Bible so much and he reads it at night. Um, he is the kid that's up past the time when we go to sleep and the one that makes it very difficult to tell him to go to sleep because he's very diligently reading his Bible at night with his reading light. So, um, this is what he's using for Bible. Yeah, so that's all this to it. That's everything that I am using for my second grader. Um, I am going to be going into more detail in a separate curriculum video when I lay out everything we use for um, science or everything we're using for geography. I figured I might as well go ahead and do those again and answer some more questions. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm really hoping that I did it correctly. I tried to film these all at the same time, but your friend got tired. <laughs> so you may have to watch all three to get like a comprehensive look at what we're using for each one. I am so sorry if you just came here for the fourth or the second or the kindergarten video and I wasn't as thorough. Just getting tired, but I tried to include um, everything that I'm using that's specific to this individual child, which in this case is my second grader. So um, make sure that you are subscribed if you want to see more videos from us. Like this video if you enjoyed it and just appreciated me getting my way through it, <laughs> working my way through it. Um, leave me some questions in the comment section below or just say hi and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Oh, also, can you see me see myself? Can you see me? Look, can you see me? Can you see me see myself? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm tired.